Today on Artifactually Speaking, we look at an ancient imitation. I'm Brad Hafford, archeologist from the University of Pennsylvania. And I'm currently in the field working at the ancient Mesopotamian city of Lagash in southern Iraq. Well, I've talked a lot about artifacts already, and today's really has great interest for me from an economic perspective. I like to study the ancient economy, and we've looked at objects like seals and ceilings, which do have an economic aspect. But this one is a slightly different economic aspect that I'm very interested in. When I first found this object, I knew it was made of clay. I could tell by the feel and the weight of it. So we've just found some artifacts here in our trench two at Lagash in area H. We're not quite sure what this is yet. Uh, it seems to have lines on it. It's made of clay and it does appear to be hollow. So it could have been wrapped around a string or it might be, well, it's not a cylinder seal, but it's certainly cylindrical and it has lines on it. I mentioned that it might have been oh, a cylinder seal or something else. I didn't say bead because it seemed too big, but they do make large beads in Mesopotamia. And that's exactly what this is. So after cleaning it up and looking at it, we now understand it a lot better. It did have a design on it. I could see that already, but with the dirt off of it, we can see that it's kind of a spiral line that goes all the way up this long and heavy bead. When I first showed it to others, they said, oh, it's a shell core. But it isn't. That's part of the thing. It is meant to look like a shell core. Now, there are many incidents today where we find that the people who are wealthy or elite set trends, perhaps in fashion. And the common people can't really afford this, and yet they want to look like they can. So there's a market for things that are made of less expensive materials, but they look like one of the very expensive things. Something like uh, an imitation brand name handbag. Some of these brand name bags can be very, very expensive and most people can't afford them. So they buy one that's a knockoff. We think of that as a modern idea, but in fact, it was happening already nearly 5,000 years ago. Shell was used for a lot of things in Mesopotamia, and we know even from this site that we find shells all over the place, but most of those are relatively thin and small. They come from the marshes or the rivers. If you want to get something that is substantial enough to make something out of, to carve into, you need a large shell, a deep sea shell. Now those are much more difficult to get hold of. In the Gulf, you can find them, but they're deep down. Maybe you can find some washed up but the point is, they're difficult to obtain. We could convert that into a kind of monetary equivalent. They didn't use money quite the way that we see it today, but the more time you have to expend to make something or to get hold of a material, the more valuable it is. So, if you couldn't afford a shell, then you could get a clay imitation. The kind of shell that we're talking about is really a conch, which is a very large shell, and it forms in spirals around a kind of core. So the animal lives around that and makes the shell covering over in, in spirals. Once you break away all that outside, you're left with the shell core. It's a cylinder of essentially calcium carbonate, the material that shells are made of, and that cylinder can be used to make something like a cylinder seal by engraving it. But you can also drill through and just turn it into a bead. And this was fairly popular in the early dynastic period that we're talking about largely here at Lagash. So from 2900 up to about 2350 BCE, we do find these. And in fact, some shell beads and certainly shell cylinder seals were found in the Royal Cemetery at Ur, which also dates to the early dynastic three. The clay was shaped to look like that core, and then the line of the spiral was also put in there. That's how we know this is really an imitation. I can wear this, and I can look more important, perhaps, than I am, or more wealthy. Would you like to look like a king or queen, but aren't one? 
Just try our new imitation shell bead. I hope you enjoyed learning about this imitation shell core bead with me, and that you'll join me again next time on Artifactually Speaking. I'm Brad Hafford. See you later.